His school accounts have been helpful because it's shown us like how different Eaglesham's changed from then and now. There was an old cotton mill in the Ori, so lo- lots and lots of people worked there and they made lots of money by selling it on. We're going to use mapping software within the class to um, have a look at some common journeys that might be made in the village of Eaglesham. Um, we're going to then relate that to the statistical accounts and look at journeys that people may have made when those accounts were written. Um, we're also going to look at the details within the accounts that say the size of the village uh, and look at how that's changed and use the mapping software to accurately gather that information and then discuss why it may have changed over the years. The impact of using primary sources has really helped the children when they're doing their own research and really thinking about what a primary source is. So we've used um, the statistical accounts and they obviously know that they were written by the people living in those times. And we've also used mapping, um, looking at older maps and newer maps, and also looking at photographs and images um, from those times, reminding them what sources they can rely on, what ones perhaps can be written decades or centuries later. So it's really kind of brought to life the difference between primary and secondary sources. I don't live in Eaglesome. I didn't really know much about the history. I think it's been good that I've learned about the mills and actually that there was one there and that how much people got paid and how little it was.